let us take a look at example 8. Given that x minus 1 is a factor of fx equals to x cubed plus kx squared minus 7x plus 6, find the value of k and hence factorize fx completely. Okay, so since we just talked about um, the factor theorem and this is an example to show you how uh, the factor theorem is used in questions like this. Okay, so we know that x minus 1 is a factor of this function. Therefore, we know that, well, if we substitute in x equals to 1 into the function, okay, you will get 0 because the remainder is 0, right? So um, x cubed will be 1 cubed plus k multiplied by 1 square minus 7 multiplied by 1 plus 6. I mean, this shouldn't be a problem for you. Okay, equals to 0. So we'll end up with um, one equation and one unknown. So it shouldn't be that difficult. This would be 1 plus k minus 7 plus 6 is equal to 0. And you, hey, wait a minute, you realize that, you know, 1 minus 7 plus 6, k is equal to 0. Okay, there you go. We got the value for k. k is equal to 0. Alright, then that is the first part of the question. Now, and hence, factorize fx completely. Now, factorize means to list out all the factors. Okay, so for example, if I ask you to um, factorize x squared minus 4, okay, you shouldn't have a problem because you can factorize x squared minus 4 to x minus 2, x plus 2. So these are called factorize, factorize form. Okay, list out the factors, right? But of course, um, this, this question has got nothing to do with x squared minus 4. So let's get rid of it. Okay, so now what do we know? Well, we know that x minus 1 is a factor. And what we are really interested in is the other factors. Okay, since this is an x cubed polynomial, you should expect to see three factors. Okay, where well, there could be at most three factors. Right, now how are we going to find the factors? Um, think about it. Now let's say I give you a number 6, and I say that, well, you know, 3 is a factor of 6. Okay, 3 is a factor of 6. So what is the other factor? So if 3 is the factor of 6, the, the other factor of 6 could be a 2, isn't it? Because 3 multiplied by 2 will give you a 6. So when you know one factor, all right, you can find the other factor. So now, because we know that x minus 1 is a factor, by right, we should be able to find the other factors. So how do we do that? There are essentially two ways to do that. Okay, the first way is by long division. Alright, so it makes sense, isn't it? I mean, long division, because uh, for ex in this example here, okay, we know that 6 is 3 multiplied by 2. So if we know one of the factors is 3, we will take 6 divided by 3, and then we'll get the other factor. Okay, the other way is to do this thing called the synthetic division. What is synthetic division? Alright, synthetic division is actually a shortcut to long division. So, I will split these two solutions separately. So please um, take a look at them uh, for us to solve this question.